It is an absolute honor to have here on the Varsity Sports Show, current member of the Arizona Rattlers, someone who has one of the most inspirational stories that I have ever heard of, Mr. Isaiah Houston. Isaiah, welcome. Hey, man, I appreciate you having me on, man. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get let's get this going, man. So so let's start off at Phoenix College uh, for, for for of course, for all of the listeners of the varsity sports show who are listening. Vince Delisio coached at Phoenix College while you were there, Isaiah. So what was right. your what was your experience like uh, getting to work with Vince playing at Phoenix College? And how did those years just kind of impact your career moving forward? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Coach Vince is a great guy. I still have a good relationship with him to this day. Um, and he was one of the guys that helped me get to Arizona State, actually. But uh, early on, um, our relationship, he was he's definitely a, a stickler and real real discipline, which is good in the coach, you know, those are the things you want. Um, and early on, you know, I was young, so I didn't really uh, buy in all quite at first. And Coach Vince was able to help me kind of buy into the process. and whatnot and that led me to having a, a lot of success over at Phoenix College and then like I said Coach Vince was one of the ones that played a big part in getting me over to Arizona State so definitely a, a lot of thanks to Coach Vince and like I said we still maintain a good relationship to this day. What was the experience like being a walk-on at such a big university? Right you know and uh, like you said it's a huge university Pac-12 school um, but obviously I knew I could play at that level and, and have a lot of success just given the opportunity. And uh, Coach Vince uh, helped me get over there as preferred walk-on. And so they knew a little bit about me. Uh, they knew about me in high school and stuff before I went to junior college. So they, they kind of had some background on me. Um, unfortunately, I only went through uh, spring ball with them, ended up breaking my jaw um, in a freak accident. And so that led to me uh, taking the fall semester off. And then uh, that's how I ended up at Arizona Christian. Once again, we are speaking with Isaiah Houston here on the Varsity Sports Show. Let's, let's go to your time at, at Arizona Christian. Um, so, so, so you're ob obviously you balled out there. You, you, you play great there. But, but honestly, right, right. I, I think the most important thing was that, is that you've said that while attending there, you grew closer to God. So how, is, how has your faith helped you throughout uh, your career? Man, my faith is everything, and I honestly, you know, don't think I'd still be playing football uh, without it. Um, my time at Arizona Christian definitely matured me a lot, um, not only in, uh, you know, life and football, but in my faith, like you said, and that's kind of open doors uh, that I, you know, wouldn't even think possible on my own. Um, definitely ha haven't been able to navigate everything perfectly by myself, so uh, whenever I was able to you know, build that relationship with Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Um, it definitely, you know, I started to see doors open and things start to kind of play out um, in my favor. So definitely, you know, owe that to ACU and them kind of allowing me to grow in my faith. I, I think it's wonderful that, that you're able that you're able to use use your faith and like it really helps you, you know, you know, through your career, through this journey. I think that's magnificent. Even when I last heard of my kidney in my senior year, like I said, it was the day after I met with the Detroit Lions. Uh, they were really interested. The scouts were like, hey, just keep doing what you're doing, man. Um, you know, coming from a small school, you got to, you know, kind of stand out, but you're doing that. So just keep doing what you're doing. And then that very next Tuesday in practice, I just dove for a post, uh, a pass on a post and landed on the tip of the football, uh, lacerated my kidney. And originally the doctor said they were going to, you know, need to do surgery and remove my kidney. So they scheduled to have me transferred hospitals, the trauma one hospital. And in that process, um, I guess they lost the MRI of my kidney. So they had to do another one. And when they did the other one, um, it uh, randomly stopped bleeding, you know? So I fortunately never needed surgery. Um, so I definitely you know, think that's a blessing and God played a big part in that. So when and how did you first get involved with uh, the indoor football league and the Rattlers? Like when did the Rattlers start come to you saying, hey, we, we want to sign you. So actually, I had posted a video on Twitter of me running routes. Um, and I had tagged Coach Guy in the video, along with you know, a couple other coaches. And Coach Guy uh, sent me a message and was like, yo, we're having an open tryout on Saturday. Come to the tryout. Um, and I was kind of honestly, at first, I was like, man, I got to go to an open tryout. Like, like, I feel like 
I've done enough to you guys to just sign me. But uh, <laughs> definitely um, was grateful for the opportunity to go to the trial um, and did very well there. And that led to me uh, getting a contract with them, being invited to camp. Camp uh, had a very great camp, uh, made a lot of plays early on. And so ended up making the team off the tryout and then uh, was with them in 2020. However, the season was canceled due to COVID. So then last year, 2021, was my first season with them. And I'm currently uh, resigned for this upcoming year uh, in 2022, getting ready to go here in March. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, for all our listeners here on the Varsity Sports Show, we have been joined by the one, the only, Isaiah Houston. Isaiah, once again, just thank you so much for joining us for this interview. It has been an absolute pleasure. Yes, thank you, man. Uh, hope you guys, you know, continue to enjoy success on the show. Keep the good things going, man, and uh, look forward to being on again.